Welcome back to this already, the final segment of today's Price of Business. And I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I've uh, been looking forward to this uh, interview. I'm a big fan of uh, the, the, the great work that Snap Kitchen does. I, I love these healthy choices that are ki- still convenient. You know, that's just a difficult balance. It feels like you got to trade health for, for convenience, you know, and, and it's wonderful where you can get that balance because we're all really busy. You know, and, and I like a company that helps uh, facilitate that. And uh, Scott McGee, he's director of store operations for uh, Snap Kitchen. He's in our studios today, and I'm looking forward to chatting with him today. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful. Glad Thanks to have you. Me. Glad to have you Thank on. You. Tell us about the uh, Snap uh, Snap Kitchen pro uh, story, if you will. Sure. So we started in 2010. We are founded by two local Houstonians, Martin Bearson and Brad Radoff. Opened our first location in Austin in 2010, and shortly thereafter, our first one in Houston. And we are really focusing on doing nutritious and delicious prepackaged meals, fresh, healthy takeaway, if you will, an assortment of breakfast, lunch, dinner, side snacks, desserts, salads, and cold-pressed juices. And it's a convenience play on being able to walk in the store, heat and eat if you choose, or you can certainly grab and go and take one meal or mini home to work or uh, on your way to home. Mm-hmm. And so how many locations now are in the state of Texas? So we just opened in Houston, actually, on Saturday. We opened our 10th location, and we have just under a total of 30 locations uh, nationwide, with four being in Chicago. And you have nine here in Houston. We just opened number 10. Number 10, yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And then uh, I was just making sure you were listening to yourself. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you have another one coming up soon. We do. We have in two weeks. We're opening another one in Memorial Villages. And so how many more do you have planned scheduled for for, uh, Houston area? So for the Houston market, by the end of the year, we'll have the uh, Memorial Village location that will open in two weeks, and then we have another one in Baybrook. Oh, very good. Baybrook, yeah, that's good. And so uh, growing fast, is the idea behind that kind of growth trying to, uh, uh, you know, meet an immediate demand that you already see there or just to make it so part of the fabric of the city of Houston by having so many locations that it's easy to get into that habit? Can I kind of talk a little bit about the strategy? Because it sounds pretty aggressive. So it's kind of really both. I mean, our, because our stores are average about a thousand square feet, the accessibility and the easiness to open them is there. And so real estate's not as difficult to find when you're looking for a large uh, a facility for like a large restaurant. And then for us, because of the convenience play, and we can put these little pockets of stores out into suburbs, and we can put them downtown, and we can put them in, inside uh, an office building. We have the ability to grow at a pretty uh, aggressive but confident rate and expose ourselves to you know all of Houston and beyond that. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. So how long have you been with the company? I've been there for a little over four years. So you're, you're one of the pioneers. Correct. And uh, director of operations, what does that all entail? So I oversee all the front of house operations for the company. Uh, so all the, the stores, the director of operations within each city report to me. And so making sure that our stores operate at a high level, they're organized, food's fantastic, service is great, and that we continue to do it every single day. Yeah, how big of a role are you involved in the uh, in the grand openings? I attend to just about every single one as long as I can. Yeah, yeah, and so uh, you are uh, not necessarily the tactical guy for those. You're more involved in uh, making those uh, successful once they've been open. Correct. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little right. bit higher level. I travel a lot, so I, I bounce around. So. You work with many them all places, over the many country. times. You, Correct. You oversee mm-hmm. operations all over the country. That's cool. What was your background before doing this? I was in the restaurant business, and so I was overseeing uh, restaurant operations for another concept that's a Houston-based concept as well, and then before that, I did a brief stint in law school. Yeah. Now, there's, uh, it seems like there's a lot now. I mean, there was like none of these uh, 10 years ago, and now all of a sudden, you know, there's a lot like yours with similar branding, similar packaging, that type of thing. Explain that phenomenon. I think it's really, it's driven a lot, I think you'd save them from millennials, and so the Convenience play, you know, we, we live in a technology world. We're moving fast-paced. We want to get our hands on everything we can quickly. And with the healthy foods, it allows you to finally grab meals that are full of flavor. Healthy food no longer has to be bland and boring. It can be creative. It can be as unique and internationally inspired as fine dining restaurants can be. And you're just using smarter and cleaner ingredients. It allows you to put it into finally perfect packaging that's reheatable and safe for you and 
That's the great thing about Snap Kitchen. It allows it to be accessible, and you can take it home. You can treat it like a grocery store, or you can turn on a walk in a store and, and eat a meal and move on with your day. Yeah. So what kind of uh, growth do you, can, do you plan on seeing continued growth in 2016 here in the Houston market? We absolutely do. And so we're trying to grow to around 50 locations by the end of the year. Um, so that'd be, that'd be nationwide based upon the new markets that we grow to in the emerging markets. And within Houston, we certainly have uh, suburbs that we can move out to, whether it be into the woodlands. We actually have a, a small store inside uh, ExxonMobil's campus to moving down into Sugarland. Of course, you can start from the ocean and move your way north all the way to the woodlands. And so for us, there's a ton of opportunity within Houston. Yeah, yeah. And so you know for two for sure, but it, there's even a possibility of adding additional ones this year in Houston? I believe so. So we're actively looking. Correct. We yeah. we're we're staying keen on all the on all the on all the sub markets within Houston. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Tell tell us a little bit about the founders, the guys who got it started, and how they bankrolled the process. Sure. So Martin Beerson uh, used to own a restaurant with his best friend Benji called Benji's. Oh, I've uh, heard of that. I'm over by Rice Village, yeah. and um, a little bit of a restaurant tour, and decided to move to Austin and started a new gig, and he ended up starting Snap Kitchen with Brad Radoff, who is a, an investor and in our equity partner. Um, and essentially, Brad, uh, is it, if easy story with Brad, if Brad was not our investor, he'd be our customer. He's very much into what we do, lives a healthy lifestyle. Martin's highly driven by food, highly protective of our menu to make sure that we keep it creative and that we keep that drive really there within food. And so it was a great partnership between having a really fantastic equity partner and having a really great restaurateur that wanted to go do really good food. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. I, I uh, think it's a great uh, business model. And uh, tell us a little bit about the typical customer. So it varies. And so it, it's not, it, it, age range varies substantially. It's sl- slightly a little, little bit of female driven, but it's really accessible to anyone that's looking to buy food, whether it be a single entree you know, for lunch or taking food home for their family or taking food to work and eating meals while they're at work. And so it's it's really wide range. You can treat us like a restaurant, or you can treat us like a grocery store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously, I would think that uh, it's it's generally geared towards the more affluent, though. I would think because yep. your meals aren't sure. cheap; they're high quality meals. So you're paying a little bit more mm-hmm. for them, uh, and so I would say it's probably certainly very busy people, uh, professionals, um, probably uh, upper management is a lot of that that type of people. Um, you know, but I think the bills are an extraordinary value, especially when you consider the health benefits. I think living longer uh, is worth paying a little bit more, mm-hmm. uh, living and having your time freed up for things other than preparing food. There's value to that as well. So I think the trade-off makes a lot of sense. I do think everyone's realizing that health comes first and that, you know, a healthy body yields a healthy life and a healthy career. And that if you really can keep yourself, uh, staying healthy, that you'll have good results in life. Scott McGee, he is uh, Director of Store Operations for Snap Kitchen. That's snapkitchen.com. Final thoughts before I let you go? No, thanks for having me, and we look forward to seeing you at a Snap location soon. Absolutely. By the way, are you personally office here in Houston? or I live in Katy. I live right by our store in Cinco Ranch. Very cool. Yep, two minutes away. Very cool. Well, I bet that store runs particularly well, doesn't it? <laughs> they all do. <laughs> Hey, you were quick on that one. But anyway, all right, when we come back uh, tomorrow, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. And the best content here is found over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day.